In a world where no one has a single creative thought in their head, where all the movies can't stop being utter trash. Uh, trash. No, no, no. That's the trash. These are your friends. Hello. Hi. Ah! <gasps> trash. Shh, no, no. The only thing that can save us is the Phantom Menace. Oh shit, here we go again. It was amazing. It was everything I thought it was going to be and more. I thought it was better than Return of the Jedi, personally, so... I think that little Anakin Skywalker, and everyone's going to say it, stole that movie. It'll be a great movie 20 years from now. It'll be part of six great movies. Unless the next two really suck. <laughs> oh, shoot him, ladders. Now, I think we all can agree that the majority of modern-day movies have been... With the devastating combination of an era that lacks any worldly experience and creativity, coupled with the mass pushing of a political and ideological agenda, and with studios being absolutely unwilling to take chances on new ideas, it has left the movie industry, well... Trash? I mean, just to look at any box office returns in the past few years. Now, this creative drought we find ourselves in is actually pretty normal. If you study art history, yes, you will know that as time passes, there are peaks and valleys when it comes to the collective creativity of people. And right now, we are in a valley, coming off the absolute peak that was 90s filmmaking. I mean, even bad 90s movies had better writing and technical execution than quote unquote good movies today. So what do we do? Oh, magic conch shell, what do we need to do? Nothing. The shell has spoken! There's not much we really can do until we inevitably, naturally come out of this creative rut we find ourselves in. However, some advice I have for you average moviegoers is, one, don't see a movie opening weekend. Wait until you hear about how the movie is from other people before you commit to spending your hard-earned cash. And two, be wary of where you get your movie reviews from, especially when they have clear conflicting interests involved. Other than that, we just have to wait. But there is good news, everyone. There seems to be a rising trend of re-releasing old movies in the cinema, which is the real reason I wanted to make this video. Now, movie theaters showing older movies is nothing new, and in the past, I have always said to myself, I should go see this or that because I was too young or not even born to see it in theaters. But it was never really a priority for me, so unsurprisingly, it never happened. Until two weeks ago with the re-release of The Mummy for its 25th anniversary. The Mummy is one of my all-time favorite movies, and I don't think I need to spend time telling you why it is such a good movie. Wait, yes I do. So you see, The Mummy is what I like to call a movies movie, where it has and that's why The Mummy is a great movie. No real surprise that it came out in the 90s. My point is, I have seen this movie hundreds of times. I can pretty much recite the dialogue word for word. But I admit, watching this movie at home, I have never really felt scared during the darker scenes or felt awe-inspired during the epic scenes. But that all changed seeing it in the theaters. For the first time watching this movie, I felt fear and suspense. I was awe-inspired at times. And as if I needed any more reason to fall in love with Rachel Weisz, making me stare into her beautiful eyes on the big screen. Stop. I knew the viewing experience would be different, but I didn't think it would be this drastic. It was like watching a whole new movie. And this is a side note, but I happened to be sitting next to a family that had like a 7 and 14 year old that had never seen this movie before. And it was an absolute delight overhearing their minds being blown by this movie. 
Needless to say, this experience changed my priorities on seeing re-releases in theaters. I went and saw Aliens for its 45th anniversary and it was way more terrifying in theaters. And of course, I went and saw The Phantom Menace because why wouldn't I? My point is, if you ever get the opportunity to see a re-release in theaters, I highly recommend that you do, especially for movies you have never seen in theaters before. I don't think you will be disappointed. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for being here, I appreciate you, and I'll catch ya at the next one.